So you've just installed the Mopavi video editor and don't know where to start. The way out of this situation is quite simple. Just continue watching this video. Because in the next few minutes, I will give you a complete rundown of everything the Mopavi video editor has to offer and show you how to use all that. So let's go. I suggest we don't get distracted by all the programs that come with Mopavi Unlimited and start by familiarizing ourselves with the elements and main tabs of the Mopavi video editor. As soon as we open the video editor, we have an empty project in front of us. In the upper left quarter, you will find the main tabs with tools. In the upper right quarter, there is the preview window and the bottom half of the screen is occupied by the timeline. If you look at the top bar with tabs, you will see file import, project files, sample videos, backgrounds and intro videos. The last three tabs contain various pre-made elements, video clips, backgrounds or ready-made video intros. In the left vertical menu, you'll see many icons. The second one from the top is where the music and sounds are. Here you can find various audio tracks that you can use in your videos. Besides that, if you click on sounds, you'll find a list of sound effects. There are both ordinary applause and drums, as well as whip sounds and cowboy sounds. It's quite an unusual selection and can be a great source of audio humor in your videos, but that's not the focus right now. You know what? Let's import several videos into the video editor right away, and I'll show each menu in action. Click the plus sign, add files, and import the necessary videos. Select all the files and drag them onto the timeline. You can drag them one by one or all at once. After moving the videos to the timeline, you'll see an orange pointer. This playhead shows where we are on the timeline by clicking on it and dragging it left or right you can quickly navigate the timeline. The timeline itself consists of three types of tracks, text, video and sound. Above the timeline, there is a panel with tools for quick access. Most of the time you'll use the scissors to cut the video into segments, move the cursor to the desired point and click the scissors icon. You can also use keyboard shortcuts, command B or control B. If you look closely at the video track icons, you'll see three symbols. The top one allows you to hide the video track. The middle one lets you mute the sound. The bottom one is the most useful by default, the arrow is crossed out. The videos aren't locked in their positions. You can freely move them along the timeline. If you click the arrow so that it's no longer crossed out, the videos will automatically snap together, eliminating gaps between them. Next to the scissors, there are quick buttons for rotating the video, cropping it, adjusting the color, and opening video file properties. If you click on color adjustment, a small menu with four preset options will appear. Auto contrast, saturation, white balance and magic enhance. To apply an effect, just drag it onto the video. I think by the length of this video, you already understand that there are a lot of functions in the video editor. It's part of the Movavi Unlimited subscription that basically is a starter pack for beginner YouTubers. Movavi Unlimited is a unique annual plan that brings together the best of Movavi in one intuitive platform. It's not just the Movavi video editor. It also has tools for photo editing, screen recording, file conversion, and a range of handy apps for working with documents. On top of that, Movavi Unlimited grants yearly unlimited access to all effects pack from the Movavi Effects Store. The annual subscription offers access to nine software tools and a vast collection of effects, all for the price of a single app. And the best part, even a computer with average specs will run the editor smoothly. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. An 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan is a deal that's too good to pass up. But if you feel like focusing on video and photo editing only, just give Movavi Video Suite and Photo Editor a shot. Its price is 35% lower than Movavi Unlimited, but the creative potential is almost the same. So don't miss out on these offers and choose your fighter in the description. Now let's go back to the menu we haven't tried yet. Go to the section with text and you will see a vast array of text blocks from simple to complex, mostly 
animated ones. All you need to do is click on the desired text and drag it onto the timeline. If the standard length of the text block is too long, you can easily shorten it by dragging the left or right boundary. Double clicking on the text block opens the editing window and here you can change the text, its color, font, size and so on. I will make my text pink with a white outline. If you go to motion, you can track an element in the frame and attach text to it. It's very easy to do. Drag the track and square to the desired element, choose the track and method and you are done. All that's left is to position the text block relative to the object we're tracking. In addition to simple text blocks, there are many animated text blocks such as these. Below the text, you'll find the transition section. It's also super easy to use. Choose a transition you like from the list and drag it onto the timeline. The areas for transitions will be highlighted in gray. You can adjust the duration of the transition just like you did with the text blocks length. If you want to change the transition while keeping the duration, you can drag the new transition over the old one and it will apply with the same parameters. The next section is effects. There are numerous filters from oil paintings to blur and shaky camera. You can choose effects like fire, glitch and more. But the most interesting thing here is LUTs. LUTs are special presets for deep color correction used by professionals. The video editor offers several such presets but you can add your own by clicking on the plus sign. Below the effects section, you'll find stickers. Stickers are placed on the text track and are just images overlaying your video. But that doesn't mean stickers can be useful. Their best use is in animations, but we'll get to that later. Now let's move on to the last menu where all the advanced tools are. The first one is color correction. Here you have both automatic settings and manual mode with more in-depth color adjustments. The tool list also includes image cropping and rotation, position adjustment, and even zoom. Interestingly, the video editor already has pre-made virtual camera animations in the zoom tab. Just choose the one you need and apply the effect. When you drag this effect onto the timeline, two keyframes will appear. The left one is for the initial position or state of the object, and the right one is for the final state. The closer they are to each other, the faster the animation. But I will tell you more about animations in a few seconds. Next up is stabilization. Stabilizing video is super easy. Click the button, select the stabilization strength and confirm. Now let's move on to animation. Here you can find several ready-made animations or create your own in the advanced tab. I will animate a sticker just like I promised. Drag the sticker onto the timeline then click on it and add animation. When creating your own animation you'll see the familiar keyframes on the timeline. By double clicking the left one I'll choose the start of the animation and do the same for the right one and the end of the animation. If needed you can add additional keyframes to make the animation more complex. Another interesting tool is masks. Masks in Movavi Video Editor help you hide something in the frame or focus attention. Adding the mask is easy. When a clip is selected, click on the mask you like. After that, you can manually position it in the frame. The best part about these masks is that you can also track them onto objects just like text. Just position the mask over the desired object, open the motion section and do the tracking like I showed you before. Next we have the chroma key tool. I will just import an image with a green background into the project. Now I go back to the chroma key section and click on the green color. And done! The program automatically and effectively separated the object and deleted all the green. If that's not enough, Movavi Video Editor can also remove backgrounds. I will import a video and drag it onto the timeline in the background removal menu. There are two options to choose from, fast or precise. I recommend choosing precise for the best results. After waiting in a few seconds, we got an excellent result. The last three tools are quite straightforward. The scene detector helps with cutting pre-edited video, marking all the moments of transitions on the timeline. Adding a logo and slow motion are pretty much self-explanatory. The last button you should know is the export button. Clicking on it opens a menu where you can choose the export file format quality, resolution, and the location to save it. So here you go, a rundown of everything there is in the Movavi Video Editor, well, almost everything. There are still tons of small features that need coverage, so to learn more, I recommend you watching other editing tutorials on this channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.